Hi guys, and welcome to Comics and Chill. Got something kind of interesting for you today. Uh, throughout March, for the last few years, I've been participating in this hashtag on Instagram called March of Robots. And for those of you that are familiar with Inktober, it's pretty much the same idea, except you draw a robot every day for the month of March. And usually I just end up drawing some of my favorite giant robots from pop culture. You know, I just love the designs, I love the look of them. And so I'll be doing the same this year, and I'm starting it off by drawing one of my favorite giant robot designs, the original Megazord from Power Rangers. I loved the Power Rangers as a kid, both the shows and the toys, me and my brother had them growing up. And recently I've kind of been taking a nostalgia trip uh, back to the Power Rangers. And so today you're going to watch me draw this Megazord. So I was working almost in entirely in Procreate for this. Uh, up front of doing the final illustration, I do this tiny uh, ballpoint pen sketch that you're looking at. It's about an inch and a half high by an inch wide, and I just rough out something until I'm happy. And I take a picture of that, paste it into Procreate, and I just start drawing over the top of it, just trying to lock down the uh, perspective and uh, the layout of the image. So I'm finally getting a little bit more comfortable with Procreate and I really do like their perspective tool. So there you just saw me lay in a bunch of grid work and stuff and boxes that will be buildings later on and uh, that grid just helps me sort of when I'm going to be populating that with details later, windows and doors etc. It just helps me out. Um, but right now I'm just trying to rough in all the details and I even like to add in colour at this stage. I find colour to be one of my strongest skills and so including it in the layout phase is really helpful to me getting towards the uh, the finished piece. And right now here you can see I'm still sort of in layout sketch mode, it's not very neat. Uh, but I'm just, um, I call it populating, I don't really know, I, just plugging in details into these buildings. This is a part I struggle with quite a bit. like. Uh, usually do a lot of research as to what sort of items and objects you'd find um, but living in Tokyo a lot of this was just off the top of my head I didn't really look at much reference because it's kind of already built in and then it's the same deal with the, um, the Megazord himself so I've already done the rough sketch and color work and now I'm doing another pass over the top of that to just really hammer out which details I'm going to have in there. It's still sketchy. There'll be another stage after this, which is the, I guess you'd call it the inking stage. And then I begin inking. As you can see here, I think, I don't know why I did this. I think I just wanted to lock down the palette maybe, but I was inking and coloring as I was going along. And all of this was done with the same brush I only used one brush for the entire of this thing except for the sky I used a soft round brush but for the line work and the coloring I used this brush that's built into Procreate and it's escaping me the name of it it's something like Gelsinki or, or something like that I'll look it up and maybe I can plug in a note later but yeah from here on out it's just putting in these final lines um trying to you know it's not the neatest but um trying to keep it as neat as possible. I've never finished a march of robots where I've drawn something every single day. I think the amount of detail and you know and color I want to put into this stuff to have them be as close to finished pieces as I can. Um, I get a little carried away with that. So this year it'll probably just be, I'll be doing one every other day. You know, I've still got freelance work to do as well, <laughs> so. But I've been having a lot of fun with Procreate. If you go back in my videos, you can see I do a rough sketch using Procreate of Optimus Prime. And that's kind of like the first, or one of the first times I tried drawing with it. And uh, I think I've come a long way with it. It's just, yeah, it's really just sitting down and putting in the time to it. I usually hate, I'm, a, I'm not a technophobe, but I'm useless with technology. And my wife is always making fun of me. Like every time we buy a new piece of technology, whether it's like a new computer or a new phone or something almost always it is broken like out of the box so it doesn't work properly out of the box and I've got to get it replaced it's kind of like I'm cursed like that and then the amount of time it takes me to learn to use stuff I'm like a I'm in my 30s but I feel like I'm a 55 year old man you know 
And then here I'm just pummeling in the detail, like that brickwork was just something I wanted to add in there. I knew on these buildings at the front I wasn't going to have time to uh, colour them with like local colours, so I was just going to go for mood lighting on them. So I wanted to use that brickwork that I'm putting in here as a sort of a layer of shade to sort of help break things up a little bit. Same with the ceilings inside some of the buildings you can see there. And then here I'm just finishing up the legs and colouring, filling out the Megazord. Yeah, the sword was a bit of a pain in the ass to do. Just uh, getting the lines clean as I wanted them. And like I mentioned, I was just going to go for some mood lighting on these buildings. The buildings in the very background are just from my initial sketch. I didn't bother tidying them up because I knew I was going to push them back with a pale colour. And it's the same with the sky too. I actually quite like the sky from my original colour sketch. So I just put a bit of a slight blue on that and uh, just left it as it was. And then here I was lighting the Megazord. Just a quick bit of uh, surface lighting on him. Not being too technical with it, just sort of eyeballing it to give it a bit more depth. Uh, just adding a bit of blue haze to sort of um, get the Megazord into the atmosphere. And then wham, you're done. And I had a lot of fun working on this. Uh, I mean, I just love drawing giant robots or robots in general or, or techie stuff. I suck at drawing humans. <laughs> so maybe that's why I lean towards doing this. But it's a whole lot of fun and I'm going to be sharing a few of these throughout the month of March with you. You can also check out my Instagram. I have the Instagram for Comics and Chill. But there's also my artist Instagram, which is at Dan Lee Comics, all one word, L W -E for the Lee. And you can check out some more of my art on there, my freelance coloring work that I do. You'll see some work from some of the personal projects I'm trying to get off the ground. But yeah, check it out, give it a follow. And, you know, spread the word of the channel, as always. Like, follow, and subscribe. Follow us on social media. And let me know what you think of this Megazord, because I had a lot of fun making it. I hope you had a lot of fun watching it. Take it easy.